Good morning and welcome to this special program. Today, exclusively to be for Reverend Brother Norbert, the Provincial Spirit of Southern Africa province. Greetings and welcome, Brother. Thank you so much. So, since uh, almost two years here uh, under COVID 19, and we have observed social distancing, we are going to take off our nursing mask so that our voice may be clear. All right. Maybe to our audience who may not know your, your both names, kindly you can tell us your names by starting our conversation. I am Brother Norbert Mwila. I come from uh, Zambia, that's my home country. But as a marriage brother, I have not been in Zambia for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. I have been working uh, outside uh, Zambia. I left Zambia somewhere back in 2005. I went to Malawi, I was uh, at the postulancy, and then in 2007, moved on to Mozambique, and I was on the formation team as a novice master up to 2016. And in 2016, I was appointed provincial, and then I, I was in South Africa, as provincial base in South Africa for, for three years, mm -hmm. and then to my fourth year as provincial, I went to, to Malawi. So currently, I am based in Malawi. Oh, that's great. Personally, I was not aware that you are from Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you are almost in what it takes to be called a mice brother. What shaped your life in mice life? It's interesting because I, when I look at myself as a brother, I come from a, a part of a country that has no malice brothers. But growing up as a young man, and when I went to secondary school, I started thinking about becoming a religious. And then I, whilst in secondary school, I joined a vocation club. And when I was in Form 3 or Grade 10, we received a Marist brother who came to our school and spoke to us about Marist life. And at that time, okay, I attended the meeting and I was there listening to this Marist brother. I mean, after he left, it was just at the back of my mind. And when I completed grade 12, then uh, the idea of becoming a brother came up and I, I was trying to see which congregation that I joined. Then Marist life came to my mind. And something that touched me from that uh, visit is how Brother talked about who the brothers are and that you know, their special mission and ministry is to do with the uh, Christian education of the youth. So that made me feel that would be a place for me. And that's great. So, so far we almost have 30 years in this life. Huh? And what do you, have, what do you say about the most life? A, Maybe I would go back to how Marcel founded the brothers and what his intention was. Eh? I think that was also my feeling and my thought that I share that idea of uh, Marcel to say we need brothers and good brothers and brothers that will be able to help uh, especially children and young people and those that um, are underprivileged in a way. So I always feel Mary's mission is relevant and we need good brothers who will be there to help our young people and the children in their situation, especially in the field of education. That's great. So um, there's an American scholar who said that the successful is not the number of people who send you, but the number of people you send. How the nice vocation is responding to the needs of the young ones? Hey, I think as brothers, there's quite a lot that we, we are doing. Eh? Wherever we are placed, wherever we are, especially in our schools, we are doing quite a lot. And I've seen people that after they have had uh, Mary's uh, experience of education, they make a difference in the world out there. They may not be brothers, but uh, 
they always get with them that nourished element and formation. And then uh, we always appreciate them as brothers to see people that will have passed through our schools and then they are married at heart in their own way. And these are the people that are also making a good contribution and impact in the lives of the young people that they also minister to because of their background of marriage formation. That's great. I see one of the members of Sister Koro Conference of Spirits of African Continent. Where do you see Maris brothers of Africa Continent 15 years to come? Uh, that's an interesting question. And then, uh, honestly speaking, I would say, as provincials, we are always very concerned about uh, Maris life and mission in Africa, especially to groom and uh, grow Maris life in the uh, brothers that are the present, but also the future. So there's quite a lot that uh, we are concerned with to invest very much in the formation of our, our brothers so that you know, they are well prepared and that they can save our continent and we will be really sent as well as brothers. Eh? Mm -hmm. So for us, formation is a priority. That's great. You have mentioned about formation. I would like to ask you also, what message would you offer to the young ones who want to start their formation to, to, to commit themselves to this in my life? In okay. uh, the first place, whenever they realize that they are called to be modest, it's not that they are they good understanding what it means to be modest, and that you know, they are open to receiving the formation that they have to undergo so that you know, they become efficient and good uh, modest brothers. Information is key. So I'll be very happy that our young brothers really take formation seriously with all that it involves. Eh? That's great. Interesting to hear that. So many people in this world they are remembered. Maybe some authors and many of the books they have published, the singers, the songs they have composed. You as the servant, how do you want to be remembered in this life? That's interesting. Uh, when I look at how that could be remembered, the way I look at myself, maybe I want to be remembered not so much by what I would have done, but more about how my life has been. Eh? Yes. So more than my deeds, I think it's more the way I have lived my life as a brother. So I'd like to be remembered. If I'm to be remembered, I say, a little bit of Mary and then a disciple of Marcelin and someone who is having an impact or a contribution to the Christian education of the young people. That's great. At the beginning we talked about the Southern Africa province. Can you can utilize the country which comprises this province? Maybe people may understand Southern Africa province, but they don't know the countries which comprise this province. The province of South Africa consists of six countries, Angola, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. That's great. So we hope that you are still taking an office, you are still the brothers, wish you the best in your mission. We know that leadership is not easy, but by God's grace you make it. So if you have no idea, anything you want to say, and the last remark, you are kind, you welcome. Thank you so much. I even take this opportunity to thank you and also to thank all the brothers at MIG. Each time we come to MIG, we always feel welcome then eh, as provincials, but even other visitors who come to MIG, they always feel that a warmth of hospitality when they are here. So I also take this opportunity to say thank you very much for the way you receive us warmly and the way you treat us. And we also wish you all the best in your formation stage. Thank you very much. Thank you for having your time to share with us this. I don't take it granted. Thank you very much. I hope next time when you come back in that team, you will engage your with us. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure for me. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for our audience thoughts. Today we are talking with Reverend Brother Mombat, who is a 
и просто сейчас перенесла на африкатурный сильный мерзкий 